Does Queen Margrethe abdicate to save his son Frederick's marriage? Rumors saying that he had an affair with a Mexican celebrity and was seen strolling with her. Is the surprising decision of the queen to step down a well-planned move to make her son the king and improve his marriage with Crown Princess Mary? Well, let's find out. On January 14, 2024, Queen Margrethe II announced her abdication as Queen of Denmark. She declared her decision to step down during a traditional New Year's Eve speech that broadcasted live on television. The queen reigned for more than four decades. Following her abdication, the successor to the throne is now her son, Crown Prince Frederick, who is currently 55 years old. And his wife, Crown Princess Mary, is the new queen, an Australian whom he first met in a Sydney bar during the 2000 Olympics. However, the Crown Prince is now the King of Denmark, and the couple is set to rule the country. It is surely a historical moment in Danish history. People are crazy to witness their new king and queen, and the overall mood within the Danish royal family is one of pure happiness and delight. But, there is a twist. Before taking on his royal duties, Denmark's Crown Prince Frederick lived a lively life in the public eye. Known as the Playboy Prince or Party Prince, his adventures, including romances with celebrities, speedy drives on Danish roads, and late nights in exclusive clubs, were widely covered in the media. He was a charming rebel, seeking excitement and thrills. But that's not the point. In November, he was photographed walking around Madrid with Genevieve Casanova. Reports suggested that he was visiting a Picasso exhibition and, reportedly, sharing an intimate dinner. Genevieve Casanova, currently 47 years old, is a Mexican actress and reality star. She is currently unmarried after her divorce in 2007 with Cayetano Martinez de Arujo. Recent rumors are suggesting that Crown Prince Frederick had a romantic involvement with her. But how did all of this even happen? Well, the rumors started after the Spanish publication lecturers claimed that Frederick cheated on his wife, Princess Mary, with Genevieve during a solo trip to Spain. The publication also claimed that Frederick and Genevieve attended a Pablo Picasso exhibition together in Madrid and went into her apartment building separately, both emerging two hours later before getting into the same car. The pair left in the same car, with the then Crown Prince flying home to Denmark the following morning. However, Genevieve Casanova has denied the rumors of a romantic relationship between her and Crown Prince Frederick. But things started to look bad. After the photos of Crown Prince Frederick and Genevieve Casanova were released, Crown Princess Mary traveled without her husband to her native Australia to visit her family ahead of Christmas in early December. Was she mad at him for being with another woman? And possibly cheating on her? Is that the reason she went to her hometown without him? Well, on the other hand, the Queen's sudden stepping down decision could be a very clever move to make her son the new king and give his marriage to Crown Princess Mary a fresh start. Although these are just speculation and have been stated by some royal experts. But the way things are actually happening, these speculations are not totally neglectable. According to Phil Dampier, an author and commentator with over 20 years of experience reporting on the Danish royal family, it's quite possible that the Queen made this move out of fear that the marriage could face difficulties, risking the loss of Mary and causing significant issues for the royal family. Mary has always been viewed as a huge asset by the Queen. The stakes are high, and the Queen's decision may be a strategic move to safeguard the unity of the royal family. It does seem like quite a remarkable coincidence that the Queen made this unexpected announcement just a couple of months after stories surfaced about the Crown Prince allegedly having an affair with the Mexican actress, Genevieve Casanova. Perhaps the Queen believes that they'll sort out their differences once they become King and Queen, ultimately saving their marriage. The timing is indeed interesting, sparking speculation about a carefully planned strategy for the future. While talking about Queen Margrethe, who had once suggested that similar to Elizabeth II, she considered her role as a lifelong commitment. But her unexpected abdication has taken everyone by surprise. She was Europe's longest-serving monarch, taking the Danish royal throne in 1972 following the death of her father, King Frederick IX. A few years ago, she strongly rejected the possibility of stepping down from the throne. She stated that it has always been a well-kept tradition to reign for one's entire life, and her father, King Frederick IX, along with her predecessors, followed this tradition. That's the perspective she shares as well. The sudden decision to step down goes against the long-standing tradition of ruling for a lifetime, including her father's reign.
This quick change in decision raises questions about what might have led to this unexpected move. Many Danes had anticipated that she would continue as monarch until her passing. The unexpected abdication has left the public surprised and unsettled, particularly given that she is the most popular monarch among the Danish royal family. The queen appeared to be in reasonable health, although she suffered from back pain. Despite this, she had recently undergone an operation, which might lead one to believe that she would be able to continue in her role without any major interruptions. It does seem peculiar that this happened shortly after rumors of an affair. The prince was known as a playboy in his youth, perhaps she worried that he might be returning to his old days. The timing of these events raises questions about the impact of the rumors on their relationship, and whether these rumors influenced her decision to step down. However, despite all these controversies, the Danish people support the monarchy. The first meeting of Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary is immensely popular in Denmark, and opinion polls showed that she is as popular as Queen Margrethe. It does seem that the Queen is quite concerned that the potential breakup of her son Frederick and her daughter-in-law will play a crucial role in how the Danish people perceive the monarchy. The Queen may also have been motivated by the recent coming of age of her grandson, Prince Christian, who turned 18 in October. She may believe that he is now ready to step into the role and replace his father as Crown Prince, influencing her decision to pave the way for a new generation within the royal family. Although she stated that her decision was prompted by her age and health issues, she has suffered from back problems for many years and underwent surgery in early 2023. This sheds light on another aspect of her decision-making, revealing the personal health challenges she has been facing as a factor in the unexpected abdication. However, in the end, we can easily say that the Queen's decision to abdicate has been shaped by a complex interplay of factors. From concerns about her son's marriage and the potential impact on the monarchy's public image to the recent coming of age of her grandson, Prince Christian, and her own health challenges, a multifaceted tapestry of considerations led to this unexpected turn of events. Click on this video to watch what kind of foods Princess Leonor likes to eat.